All right, let's talk about what makes the upcoming Don Da Don anime so good and why you should watch it. So last week, I went and saw the Don Da Don First Encounter movie release, which was the first three episodes, as well as an interview with the voice actors of Okaron and Momo, and also the mangaka and the director of the anime. I was initially intrigued by the trailer for the anime that I saw a few months ago, so I decided to start reading the manga at the time. And before I knew it, I was 100 plus chapters into the manga because this manga is so beautiful written and put together everything from art style the genre changes the pacing the dark tone when it comes to the aliens and the ghosts everything about this manga makes it so addicting to read i couldn't put it down so a short while after reading the manga they draw a second trailer and i think i only saw the movie trailer as an ad and then it said select theaters and i was like oh damn i went and saw the demon slayer movies the movie that started the swordsmith village arc only had like one episode of the new season and it was two combined episodes of old footage of the last season we had seen so i never actually saw like the anime premiere that showed like it's one thing to see the first episode but the first three so i was excited we got our tickets went and saw the movie right the interview in the beginning was actually really interesting to me especially since i had read the manga and it quickly became one of my favorite mangas and stories out right now yamashiro explained in the interview that this was definitely like a creative process that took steps and they took their time and he kept in close contact with tattoo through throughout the process of animating and bringing this to life so he brought a lot of the little minor changes and details and adjustments to Tatsu's attention along the way and sometimes Yamashiro had a slightly better idea for animating certain scenes and it, it really shows. Science Saru probably was the best studio to pick this up especially with this director because Yamashiro's attention to detail when adapting scenes, panels, even the minorest things are so precise. It's even the smaller things that he added to it to emphasize certain moods and plot points even more like for example he talks about the shot in the beginning where the aliens come to abduct momo from the hospital right when the aliens first appear in the manga she just turns around and sees them in a dark hallway of the hospital it's just a single shot and then they chase her the way he first shows the alien it's like much more suspenseful like he added the little touch since it's animated the way that he shows just the lights as the light shines through the window and pans down and you see them in the hallway like just the little things like that like it adds a dramatic effect and the tone of the story it was a crazy traumatic experience for her but it just adds to the like the intensity and the build-up in the beginning of the story to keep you hooked from what i've seen so far only three episodes you know but just in those three episodes i would say it's like a perfect adaption it's a damn near perfect anime adaption because they mimic the art style perfectly the way that they switch between when they're being serious and it's a tense situation or when they're doing rom-com things and being a little bit funny the switches in the art style like that they got it locked down then their choice of colors and colors added in just make it visually just pop and stand out like that much more he just goes above and beyond like when the ghosts and the aliens show up they both have a different color tone to them when they appear then the background changes like the sky gets dark it's the small attention to detail and the quick perspective changes that he uses that just make the adaption feel that much better let's talk about the, the animation for a second there's definitely cgi used for certain scenes especially the aliens and he explains it in an interview that he wanted the aliens to feel more cold and inorganic and you feel that from like the way he uses cgi because it's technically a ghost it's not an alien that you see in the anime in the second episode he nailed it how it looks in the manga he nailed it like spot on the voice actors for momo and okarun they nailed the voice i couldn't have imagined it any better in my head momo's voice actor nails the gyaru shit like perfectly okarun's voice actor also spot on like like they definitely cover that dynamic that they have in the manga it seems like they had an organic chemistry working on this manga. The editors also in the interview, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, including the editor and the voice actors, they all feel like they just have a really good organic chemistry and work together. So like, I feel like that's what made the anime feel that organic. Like this doesn't feel like a studio that's just, let's just animate this anime to get a quick cash grab and keep moving. Like Ayansaru definitely did their thing when bringing this story to life. 
the crafts such a beautifully done adaption that i'm just calling it from here i don't know what else might drop but it's already looking like anime of the year to me so far like showing for the award because story is as unique and original as it comes really like they went down a totally different path and decided to like really be out there and unhinged with the plot the setup and everything to the story so it's already unique and individual like that only saw three episodes though maybe somehow it just goes downhill i doubt it but so far anime of the year coming from a manga perspective this anime just embodies and emphasizes the tones of the story even more from the music and the sound effects choices to the different angles and perspective and art style changes to the different genre it's almost instantaneous how quick did the move change as well as the fluidity of the fight scenes and science art was able to capture and convey all of that perfectly the aliens and ghosts and the variety of them and all the different people they meet along the way everything about this story on and on is one of my favorite manga to read right now it's different you got to get past one or two strange aspects you know in the first chapter but it's definitely worth the read such an engrossing manga it was the fastest i binged any manga so far even compared to having chainsaw man in hand because i've read all of the Dawn Dawn on the shonen jump out i binged that faster than anything tatsu has a thing for pacing and panels and page turns and he just has it all down pat i just hope that he just continues to make stories even once he finishes Dawn Dawn, i hope he comes out with something else after because his creativity and his way of storytelling is it's unique i know he picked certain aspects and some of this up from being an assistant to fujimoto and it's been an assistant to yuji kaku on hell's paradise as well as having a slew of other one shots and stories under his belt under a different pen name so he's definitely had his fair share of practice but the way that he took it and adapted and put his spin on things to tell his stories is just it's awesome go to men Gaka already just his unique creativity and storytelling for it he's goaded i'm sorry he's going down as a goat i said in a previous short like fujimoto is i don't know what kind of crazy machine he is but he turns out talented assistants and apprentices like nothing he's got i think five now i thought it was only three and someone in the comments in one of my other videos told me about centuria shout out which i also read and caught up i think it's got 23 24 chapters out so far but hold on we're getting off track i don't know what he was feeding or giving those guys a drink if they take some different vitamins over there i don't know what the hell fujimoto's got going on but he might as well start a, a school all in all down it on first three episodes of the anime already beautiful there's definitely more to go i can't wait to see the anime but i also can't wait for the story to continue because in the manga um, i don't know we're at like chapter 160 or something right now so there's plenty to animate and i hope that this first season strikes gold so that they can continue the seasons in science arc and pump them out um, you know when they can no rush because we still want it to be top notch but that premiere is looking like a home run knockout out of park anime of the year so check it out start streaming fall season i mean you could always check out the manga check it out on shonen jump or manga plus but great story a totally different anime experience like it's unique so check down down on out when it comes out that's all i have for today guys that one we out